I was in an airport, and CNN was on, on the overhead screens, and they were talking about the Malaysian flight that went missing. And people there were staring at the screens, concerned because they were about ready to board a plane. This is not perhaps the wisest place to watch something like this, because the human mind can get hijacked itself. It can literally be hijacked by fear, even anxiety. And it was happening in some of the people that I was witnessing. When calamity strikes anywhere in the world, we're often confronted with real-time images of that tragedy. And those images can breed anxiety. And as we stare, transfixed, At our television screens, we ourselves may fall prey to fear and discouragement and worry, or all three at the same time. But our God has promised us peace. Our God has promised us that we may lead lives of abundance and not anxiety. In fact, God's Word tells us to be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4, verse 6. But how can we put our fears to rest, especially when our own mind is being hijacked by fear? By taking those fears directly to God and by leaving them there and trusting that God will take care of them and of us. When you find yourself becoming anxious, stop and take a moment to turn your concerns over to God. The same God that created the universe will comfort you if you ask God. So ask God in the moment, over and over again if you need to, and trust God. And then watch in amazement as your anxieties melt into the warmth of God's loving embrace. The cares of today are seldom those of tomorrow. It says in the Bible, Psalms 42 verse 11, Why am I so depressed? Why this turmoil within me? Put your hope in God. For I will still praise God, my Savior, and my God. Well, may God save you from your fears. May God save you from your anxiety. May God save you from yourself when your mind is hijacked by the same. I pray this for you. In Jesus' name, amen.